Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are gonna be using this 12 color poly gel kit from Savaland. Now, as you guys will see, I am missing one of the colors. That is because I couldn't find it. You know, having a two year old, all my stuff literally gets dispersed around the house. <laughs> So here are the swatches of the poly gels. And if you guys did not notice, you're probably like, why does this kit look different? Why have I never seen this kit? Well, one, I couldn't find any reviews on this kit at all. And two, this is one of those kits that does not come with anything special. Now, I'm thinking that's why it's the same price as like a six color, <laughs> six color poly gel kit because, um, you know, a lot of those kits come with like nail forms, they come with slip solution, brushes, files. This one, you were getting just the poly gel, but when you think about the fact that you get 12 shades for like $32 or less, <laughs> like, I mean, seriously, if you already have like a brush, you already have a nail file, you already have alcohol or a slip solution, you really don't need to keep buying kits that have nothing but tools in them, so. I don't know why any other brands aren't really doing that. I think it's a great idea. I think it saves money. And yeah, I'd rather have more poly gels than nail brushes. <laughs> so um, today we are gonna be doing some opal nails. And if you guys did not know, opal is the birthstone for October. So yes, I'm super excited to do these nails. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make this like a series on my channel where like, you know, each month we do a different birthstone. Let me know down below if you think that would be cool or if you think that would be too repetitive. I was thinking that maybe we would just do like, maybe a couple birthstones, like the stone natural looking way, and then we could just do the colors, and incorporate that kind of thing. I don't know, I'm gonna play with that idea. But today, you guys, we are gonna be just gluing on these tips because, Y'all, I'm trying to film more nail videos, but even the times where I do not prep my nails, like my nails stay on forever. Like my last set of nails was literally so annoying to get off because they were stuck. <laughs> I thought it would be easier not prepping my nails, but no, I don't know. I must have some kind of super nail beds because my nails did not want to let go of those little fake nails. And yeah, I'm kind of over it. <laughs> So I am using those Enel Couture, the XXL coffin shape tips. I am, well actually they're full cover nail tips, sorry. I'm just gonna go ahead and buff those with a buffer block. And you guys do not be mad at me today. You're probably thinking like, okay, Christina, you guys will see, but I know there's 12 colors in this kit and I am actually only using one of those colors and a clear, but I do have two other plans to do with these t with this kit. So please do not come for me. I promise you guys will get to see me actually play around with more colors. So as y'all know, I'm taking my Burano three in one base coat gel. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint that over the whole entire nail. Okay, so once that's cured, I'm gonna go ahead and take another coat. And honestly, you probably didn't have to, you know, cure that last one, I'm just being extra, but I'm taking this glitter mix that I made. It's a little bit of like those iridescent mylar flakes with some iridescent glitter, a little bit of like a chrome powder mixed into all of that. 
you guys will see like for the rest of the nails I kind of switch it up and I actually like that a little bit more because this nail turned out so gorgeous so pretty but it wasn't giving me like the full you know opal vibes with the orange and like the green and the blue and the purple so you guys will see what I do next I'm just taking a little bit of white nail polish white gel polish and I'm just gonna kind of diffuse it with some alcohol I will say acetone does work a little bit better at doing this so if you have acetone definitely use that but just be careful to not use too much um y'all and I'm so sad so <laughs> my nail lamp was kind of like I guess my cord was kind of like ripping but hadn't ripped yet and like my daughter came in the room and she wanted to um, play around with the nail lamp and it fell and I guess it was too much tension so it ripped the cord off so you guys will see that I do have my nail lamp out for like the first two nails and then I switch solely over to a flashlight so <laughs> yeah it was definitely an interesting day of doing my nails let's just say that So as you guys can see, I just went ahead and encapsulated that purple iridescent um, poly gel. I encapsulated it with the clear and I like this acro gel. It is very thin though. It's definitely not a traditional poly gel texture, but I love how clear it is. It's like super clear. So I highly recommend the clear in this kit. It's amazing. The only thing I will say is that um, with this kit, I think it needs a high nail lamp because mind you I told you I ended up using the flashlights and it wasn't really giving me a good cure I don't know but right here I'm taking my e-nail couture it is a white ombre gel so it's like a milky white which is perfect for like milk bath nails if you do not have this product even though I think this was like five dollars but you know their shipping's a little crazy so if you do not have this product you can always just take a clear top coat and mix it with like a drop of white nail polish and you're good to go well i would use white gel polish <laughs> if i say nail polish just know i mean gel polish and i'm gonna go ahead and top coat that just so that it is done and out the way so i can work on the rest of my nails you guys this is my new thing where i'm kind of just showing you how to do one nail really completely and then i'm gonna kind of rush it for the next few nails <laughs> So as you guys will see, I am just taking some of my mix. You can see that's the glitter mix that I have. And I'm just gonna kind of customize it because I wanted it to have a little bit more mm and be pretty. So here we go. You can see clearly glitter mixing has been my thing lately. I will never stop. It is amazing. And I don't see why I just settle for glitter that's already made. y'all see the difference you see how much more like opaly it is now adding these definitely gave me the look that i was looking for i feel like this is so much prettier than just the simple iridescent and y'all my nails look foggy because i had cleaned under them with uh alcohol so yeah if it looks weird it's because of that but yeah, how are you guys doing today? I hope I'm not talking your head off. I feel like voiceovers are weird because some people like hearing your voices and other people are just like, 
I came here to vibe out. I just want to hear the music. So let me know if you prefer if you prefer me doing a voiceover or if you prefer kind of just music playing. I'm trying not to be annoying, I promise. As you guys will see, I literally put on just a little bit of poly gel because I was thinking that maybe I was putting on too much and that's why I was having so many issues curing it. You know, I really don't know. Um, I really liked the texture of it. It was a little bit more like loose than other poly gels, but I actually don't mind it because as y'all know, I love me a builder gel. And even though it's not builder gel, I just like that kind of loose texture sometimes. So yeah, and as you will see, I switched over to the IBD gel, the builder gel, just because, just to cap everything, because I felt like the Agra gel was like too thick and I felt like I wasn't really able to get a good cure on it. So that is why I switched to the IBD gel. And honestly, it's just all personal preference. Use whatever you like, just make sure you encapsulate it. And as y'all will see, I'm just going back in and adding more of those lines. You can do this step whenever, it doesn't matter. For the first nail, I did it early on. For this nail, I'm doing it kind of as a layer between that milky white, uh, ombre gel so it's up to you All right, so once all the nails are done, I did go ahead and start adding on a couple stones. I got these really pretty opal stones from Amazon. I will link those down below. I am gonna be adding in these little crushed shells. Now y'all, I was so excited to get these. I saw some of these on Classic Molly here on YouTube. She is an amazing nail artist. I don't know if she's a nail tech, but I know that she does a lot of nail things and she is amazing. And she'd posted a video with her using these like crushed shells. And I was like, so blown away that I didn't even know that they did that for nails. So I definitely ordered some and y'all will be seeing them more often because they are stunning. But the way that I'm putting those on is I'm literally just going to be using my rhinestone gel and then a layer of top coat. You can use any rhinestone gel. I'm pretty sure they're all the same. You could also use the aqua gel as well. And y'all know I'm still new at adding these stones, so please do not come for me. Don't come for me for not having like Swarovski's. I'm just doing nails myself right now. I mean, I don't know if I would ever be a nail tech. I've been thinking about it and asking friends, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens in the future.
And as y'all will see with my nails, I'm literally just kind of playing around with different stone placements and different stones to use. And that's really all you have to do. I mean, especially if you're not planning out your stone design like before you do the nails. I feel like just play around with it before you cure it and you're good to go. There's no pressure, just do what you feel. guys look at this nail look at these stones like I could not stop staring at these seashells seashells <laughs> seashells <laughs> they were so cute and so pretty oh my god like I loved this design and I'm really not like a light colored like white nail person but like these were so pretty like oh my god like look at how those shells pop out like, these are so, so pretty. And as y'all will see, I'm just lightly going over my stones and not really doing too much, just making sure that they're all kind of encapsulated, but not like goopy. You know, I really don't lose a lot of stones anyway, but just in case. And we're gonna add some cuticle oil. Do not fret, I have to make some new cuticle oil. This is not a new one, so y'all will get that video very, very soon. And there we go, there is a finished product. I love these nails so, so much. I really hope you guys try out doing this method. It was beautiful and easy, and yeah, thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.